Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you guys my daily makeup routine, aka this makeup routine that I have on right now. Um, so if you're interested, just keep on watching. And to you guys who already follow me on TikTok, welcome. I hope this is convenient for you because I've gotten a lot of questions about my makeup routine on TikTok. So I wanted to make a detailed routine, makeup routine on YouTube. You guys, make sure you follow my socials, my Insta and my TikTok because I'm super active on those platforms. And yeah, just keep on watching. Okay, so I just pinned my hair back and I just got out of the shower. So that's why I'm looking a little bit rough. But first of all, I'd like to start with skincare. I use serums. Um, and like this nail essence and moisturizer that's super important especially if you have oily skin like me because the moisturizer really really helps like five years ago when i started doing like real makeup when i was like 15 14 i didn't use my moisturizer because i thought that it would make my skin worse i just applied my lashes i use these lashes from shein they are the best and I apply them first because I just started using strip lashes so if I mess up I can just do it all over again so yeah so I have to start off with my brows first I'm using this NYX brow pencil in espresso and I just line my brows under I always want to prove but it's dead. Okay, so next I will be filling in my brows with this NYX, what is it called, eyebrow cake powder and just fill them in lightly. Also guys, it's my birthday today, January the 27th, I'm finally 20 years old, so I am legal in Norway, but I am moving to the United States next month, so I'm not legal again, kind of. But yeah, so today I will be partying and I will be partying tomorrow. I will be having so much fun. We gotta get this makeup perfect because I will be having this on all day because right now it's like, it's 11, so I have some errands to run before I will be going out tonight. Okay, so I just filled in my brows and now I will be carving them with this e.l.f. camel concealer in the shade light beige. I'm gonna do that off camera because it does take me some time. So yeah. Okay, so I just finished carving them out with the concealer and I also put some of the concealer on my eyelids to use that as a kind of eyeshadow base and the camera is kind of crooked and for the concealer i also used this mac 212 brush it's the best so now i will be carving like the outside of my eyebrows with this l'oreal infallible foundation in 140 and i only carve out the tail of my eyebrow not like the top here because i feel like it looks, looks kind of bold on me so I'm just putting the foundation right here okay I'm done with that so now I will be taking some micellar water and a q-tip and just take away take off this eyebrow product I have over here so that's what I do instead of carving out the top here the last step for the brows I will be using another NYX brow product they're the best and this is the NYX lift and snatch eyebrow pencil and I will be just filling in the sparse areas that I missed and make them more kind of like defined okay so the brows are done I think yeah they're looking good so now we're moving on to my base and as you guys can probably see I do have acne prone skin like today it's not the worst but it's not the best skin ever 
and that's unfortunate because it's my birthday so i will be priming my face with this nyx honeydew Mia primer and i will be putting that on where my acne is the worst and also on my forehead jesus my acne is so bad but we're gonna fix that we're gonna create a nice base for my skin actually before i move on with the base i'm just gonna set my eyelids and the concealer under my brows and i'm using this nyx powder oh my god focus please yeah this one um this is the can't stop one stop mattifying powder it's the white one just setting this okay so on to the base again i also will be using the elf um putty primer the pink one and put that here and on my nose and like in my t-zone okay now i will be spot concealing where my acne is the worst so like here and here and here it's super embarrassing to have that kind of acne but we're not gonna sugarcoat anything we're gonna keep it real here so basically just using my finger i feel like that works the best but yeah we're gonna keep it real we're not gonna put on some filter or anything because us acne girls we are struggling okay so now i will be spot concealing with the same concealer that i use for my brows and just here here like that and then just blending that out with this brush i don't like to use a beauty blender when I spot conceal because I just feel like the Beauty Blender absorbs the concealer. So okay, so now that's done. I just wiped my Beauty Blender and I will be putting on foundation. So I will be using the same foundation I used on my brows and just put it on my cheeks. And just blend it out. So low, so low. This foundation is also really good and really full coverage for acne prone skin. So I really love that. Okay guys, uh, my camera was about to die so I just went on and blow dried my hair because I'm gonna straighten it. So now we are looking like this. But yeah, on to the foundation. This is how it looks right now. Look how flawless. Obviously there is gonna be some texture but texture is normal as we all know so now i'm just putting a little bit on my forehead i don't like to put a lot on my forehead because i feel like i don't need it on my forehead i think we're done with the foundation oh so now on to cream contour i will be using this maybelline uh, age rewind and i think this is in the shade coco the label has gone away but I'm just putting a little bit here, a little bit here, blending that out. I fucking love this cream contour. Like, this is the best. You don't need that Charlotte Tilbury stuff. You can use this. It makes your cream contour flawless. And also here, I like to dab it on because I feel like if you like wipe it, just goes away like look how pretty this is absolutely in love so that's that and i will also be putting a lot of it on my forehead because as you guys can fucking see i do have a big ass cranium up here and we need to contour that shit we need to make it go away and i like to put it like drag it down on like right here above my eyebrows I think I'm gonna put some more on this side. Can never have enough bronzer, can we? Okay. I don't know if you guys can see it really good because the lighting is lighting is so um white. I feel like I'm using my vanity mirror. Actually, my vanity is back there. I'm sitting by my TV, but I don't have a tripod, so I need like look at this shit. 
this is how my setup looks. I just stacked a lot of stuff right here. So, but it works. Okay, now, finally, concealer. I will be using the same concealer as I've used before. And put that right here. And I just like to blend it out right away because this elf concealer, it's really good, but it dries down really, really fast. So, you need to work fast with this concealer. A little bit over my mouth. And before I move on to put concealer under my eyes, I just like to set it straight away with this same powder, just so it stays, making sure it stays. And now for under my eyes, we'll be using the same, so I'm just putting it, oh my god, that was a lot. I'll just be using this brush to kind of smear it out. I will also be using another e.l.f. concealer in the shade Fair Rose. This is kind of a pinkish concealer and this makes your under eyes a lot brighter. Like this shit is the shit. And set the concealer under this eye as well before I move on. Just so I don't get any um, like those lines under the eyes if you know what I mean already. The makeup is starting to look flawless. Okay, so I just did this eye and I also put a little bit like over here and beside my nose because I did get a lot under this eye right here. So right now I will be taking a little bit of concealer on my forehead. Not a lot because I like to have that bronzy, bronzy look on my forehead. So I'm just taking concealer like in between my brows. Because my skin there is kind of red. So I'm just doing this and a little bit down the bridge of my nose. And also just setting that concealer as well. So now before I start baking and stuff, I like to set all the foundation and concealers and everything with this powder, this W7 powder. And just set the whole face before I start baking and bronzing and everything and I also can see that my camera's about to die again okay as you can see the makeup is starting to look super nice okay guys I just went and finished my hair off camera so now we're gonna bake and I used this one the powder puff thingy to bake and this Revolution um, translucent powder. So I put this where I usually get the most oily. It's so hard doing your makeup with bangs. I'm not gonna lie, but I can't put this. I can't put my hair up because I just straightened it, so I don't want to ruin it. So on to bronzing. Um, I'm using this Morphe bronzer. This is the Morphe Glamour Bronze in Big Shot, and also this brush right here. This is from Sheila's. Before I move on with my bronzer, I'm just gonna bake here with the same setting powder. And then for my forehead, I'm using this brush, a little bit bigger one. And as I said before, with the cream contour, I like to use a lot to contour this big forehead away just putting that everywhere like that and then we're also gonna use bronzer this butter bronzer um to contour slash bronze up my nose i will be using this brush i think it's from real techniques yeah but it, it looks like this and this is a more cool tone bronzer so I'm just doing this. I'm not very like neat when it comes to um, contouring my nose because that doesn't look good on my nose if if it's like super harsh lines. So I just do this kind of soft contour. Also, this bronzer smells amazing. If you don't have this one, you need to get it. Like it smells amazing. I just basically want to eat it up. And then we're gonna bake. Our nose. Right here on the tip on the bridge of my nose. Ok 
okay so we're gonna let that sit for now and now we're gonna move on to eyeshadow and i always use the same eyeshadow every single day i use the kylie bronze palette this is from like 2016 when this was on the market but i think she has a newer version i'm not sure i like to use this one this cool toned bronzy color this is i think it's jasper i'm not sure so i'm just putting that on and i like to focus on getting the eyeshadow and like in the outer outer crease yeah i think that is what it's called and not like drag it in in the inner corner okay but i like to like once in a while i like to take um the fenty diamond bomb i think what it's called and how many carrots let me just open it this one mine's a little little bit used but i just like to put some on my finger and just put it on the eyelid like this as an eyeshadow by itself is just amazing now we're gonna wipe off the baking powder okay so now we're almost done next step is blush everyone's favorite step Oh, we gotta fix these bangs. I use the Dior Backstage Backstage Blush, yeah, in Rosy Glows. Because the color, it's pretty, it's super pretty. It's like the perfect blush color, but it isn't that pigmented, so you really gotta get in there. And also, I feel like blush is the first thing that like disappears from your makeup, so don't be shy when it comes to blush, it's okay. It's super pretty, so thanks to TikTok, they wasn't kidding when they said you needed this blush. A little bit on my nose, on my cheek, that was kind of a lot, and my forehead. Like that, this kind of brush, focus please, okay, whatever. Also, I'm going to take the Jasper color again and just... Take it under here, just to connect the eyeshadow with uh, the under eye. And then we're moving on to highlighter. I've had this shit since like I was 14, like six years ago I got this and I still use it till this day. I'm gonna go in with this one, this is like a cream highlighter and this purple one. Like if you love... Um, really pigmented highlighters this is the one to go for because as i said i've had it for like six years and it's just because it's so pigmented it's so amazing and i really like that blinding highlight look so i go in with the cream highlighter first and then put the purple on top and also do the same on my inner corners i'm gonna do the cheekbones also like to take some highlighter under the brow bone just take that same purple one i don't use the cream under the brow bone now i'm just gonna brush out the brows and just fix them a little bit if like the foundation or something just kind of messed them a little bit up okay so for lip products i usually switch it up a little bit but these are like the main stuff i use so for lip liner i usually use um new truffle by nyx or cold brew this is a matte one for glosses i like to use the nyx butter glosses in madeline or perline also the lifter gloss in stone i also love that one and for like lipsticks, I like to use MAC in Hug Me. This is like a creamy, creamy lipstick. And for a matte lip, I like to use the NYX Lingerie in Bedtime Flirt. I'm not sure if they sell this anymore, but maybe they do. I haven't seen this in a really long time. But yeah, I'm gonna go in with the new truffle today. I think I'm gonna go with the lifter gloss today. And this is in the shade Stone. I don't know if I said that. But I'm a nude lip girl. 
So now we're almost done. We just need setting spray, eyebrow gel and mascara. Just wait a second. So this is the one that I use for setting spray. It's really cheap and it's actually pretty good. I feel like I don't really need that high-end setting spray stuff. And I think this is a matte finish. Yeah, I really like my makeup matte. So this is really nice. Just drying the shit up. And for brow gel, I like to use the got to be glued one, this one. And it works amazing. Like the nights when I have stuff with my makeup on, I woke up and like my brows, they look fresh. They look new just because of this. I'm gonna use a spoolie for that. Like this. Just get it all over. Okay, looking good. Okay, we're almost done. Last step is mascara. I've already applied mascara to my top lashes um, in the beginning before I put on my lashes. So I'm using this uh, Lancome mascara. Put some, not a lot, but a little bit. Okay guys, so this is the finished makeup look obviously not perfect because of my skin but you know as perfect as we can get it i really really like my makeup today this is the brows and the eyes and the base so i hope you enjoyed my first youtube video as i said in the beginning make sure you go and follow my socials if you came from my socials my tiktok thank you so much i hope you're you will subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. If there's something you want me to make or do or whatever, just comment down below or comment on my TikTok. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. I hope this makeup tutorial was helpful. This is my first video with a real camera, so I don't know if I did super well, but yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye.